This is a cup of coffee. It's the Instabrew Instant Coffee Cube. I saw this on Amazon, I knew I had to try it out. So today I'm gonna see how it tastes. I'm gonna see if it's worth the $1 per cup. I'm also gonna bring in some cheap instant coffee and see how they compare. That's today's video. All right, let's take a look at the Instabrew Medium Roast Coffee Cubes. I paid $11.95 for a 12 count. Now I bought the medium roast, which is 100% Colombian coffee with an exclusive chocolate oil-like flavor. They say it's lightly sweetened with raw sugar cane. Only 30 calories per serving, made in the USA. Just drop, stir, and sip. Uh, they say it's better than instant coffee because it, they use higher quality beans, which are slow roasted. This is a pretty obscure product. I really didn't see uh, any reviews online. Only a couple ratings and no reviews on Amazon. So uh, let's get started and see how this works. Now the instructions are pretty basic. It just says add Instabrew cubes to seven ounces of water at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, that's, a, that's about seven ounces. That, I might even be a little more than that. It looks pretty hot. Let's see what temperature is here. Oh, we're, we're definitely over 180 degrees. Let's take a look at one of these cubes first. And that's, uh, that's it. It looks like a bullion cube, but smells like coffee. Here we go, dropping the cube. Well, it's kind of bubbling a little bit, kind of cool. Let's uh, stir this up, because that is step two, is to stir. And they also have to point out, don't eat undissolved uh, cube by itself. So these are not for, for snacking on, they're for drinking. Well, it smells like a nice cup of coffee. I don't think I have any more, more cube chunks floating around in there. Just for comparison's sake, let me try some very cheap instant coffee grounds. Are about the same amount. I got some very cheap, great value instant coffee here. Let's see, one rounded teaspoon. Just my initial uh, observation is that the, the great value instant is kind of almost foamy, and I never experienced that foam over here. I want to say the instant coffee mixed a little bit faster, but not, not significantly. All right, here's the Instabrew cubes, and this is the great value instant coffee. There is definitely a difference. Which one do you guys think looks better? Let's taste these and see what we got. First up, the Instabrew. Mm, that's a nice, nice bowl flavor, and there is a slight sweetness there. Uh, it is 30 calories per serving, and it does have cane sugar in there, which I actually kind of like, but not everybody might want sugar. I guess they're trying to find a way to bind this without using sugar, but right now, you're stuck with sugar. But to me, the sugar is not bad. Let's try the popular Great Value Instant Coffee now. Hmm. Honestly, I thought there was not going to be a huge difference. There is a, a pretty big difference in taste. The Instabrew is far superior taste-wise to the great value. Now, if you're adding creamer or sugar or chocolate or something like that, th that will smooth this out quite a bit. But if you're a purist and you want some good bl uh, black coffee, this is really no contest. It's also no contest as far as the cost goes against the Instabrew. A, a dollar a cup, under three cents per cup. So I don't know, I guess this is a case where you really gotta balance the taste versus the cost. Let me try these both one more time. See, the Instabrew has a really smooth uh, flavor, not too bitter, not too bold. That sweetness kind of cuts through just a little bit. Great value once again. It's much harsher. It's, it's, not, it's not nearly as smooth. Uh, it's, it doesn't it just taste as good. There's a much more refined, smooth taste to the Instabrew than the, than the uh, great value. I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest. Now, I add a small amount of cream to each one of these just to see if that difference in flavor will still cut through even with cream in there. First up, Instabrew with a little bit of cream. It's a really good cup of coffee, I have to say. With and without cream, it's very smooth. It's a, it may be one of the smoothest coffees I ever tried. It has a very pleasant aroma too. The great values, the aroma on that one really isn't nearly as good. But let's try that one taste-wise with the creamer. I would say that the cream elevates the great value a little bit closer to the Instabrew, but it's still not as good. There's a sharp difference in the bitterness between the great value and the Instabrew. If that makes a difference to you, there you go. But on the other hand, there's a sharp difference in the cost. I'm still can't go over the cost difference. One dollar a cup, three cents per cup. I'm gonna finish drinking these and then I'm gonna move on to some iced coffee and see how that goes. On the Instabrew website, they say you can make iced coffee by dissolving a cube in 30 milliliters of hot water, then add nice and cold water. Let's try that. All right, this is about 30 milliliters in each cup, not very much. Let's see if it will even fit in there. I'm trying the technique on both of them. So that's a very small amount of hot water. Once again, the, the great value is kind of foamy and the Instabrew is not. All right, I think, I think we're all dissolved here. Let's add some ice. Let's see how it tastes as ice coffee, Instabrew first. 
All right, once again, the smoothness is definitely obvious. It works very well as iced coffee. Let's try the great value next. Oh, much. The more I taste this great value, the less I like it. It has a much more bitter flavor to it. It's, if you're adding something, that's one thing, but by itself, not so much. Instabrew, far better without anything added to it. Let's see if we can uh, smooth out the flavor a little bit with some cream here. Instabrew first. That's good, that's really good. Let's try the great value next. All right, so once again, when you add the creamer, the great value is elevated closer to it, but it's still not quite as good. But my wallet, on the other hand, seems to like the great value a lot more than the Instabrew because of the cost. Well, that's it. As far as I'm concerned, the Instabrew cubes do work. It's a very good cup of coffee at a very high price. If you just like your coffee without anything added to it, the Instant Brew is a good choice. But if you start adding things to it, something like the cheap uh, Great Value is hard to beat because it's exponentially cheaper than the Instant Brew. But as with anything food or drink related, your mileage will vary. But if you've tried the Instant Brew, the Great Value, or any instant coffee, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.